Josie Mansfield is the Gen Y nutritionist and I love when you come on because you teach me all the good snacks to have and none of those naughty ones. There are so many different things that we can do and you're going to be cooking a really delicious entertaining snack. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't have frozen peas galore in their fridge? I Every do. single time I go and look in my freezer, mm -hmm. I have about three bags of frozen peas. So this is fantastic. <laughs> want to just get rid of things, but also we are very busy, okay? Yeah, I am the Gen Y nutritionist because I really want to take care of those 20s, 30s. We've got career focus, mm -hmm. quick things. We still want to be social, we want our friends to come over. What can we do? We can make a homemade dip. And now we're going to be using sweet potato. We're going to be using beetroot to make chippies. Yes, so instead of those oily, greasy chips that we would usually dip into our yummy dips, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing it the healthy way. Absolutely. So you won't feel guilty. <laughs> so first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to get um, some baking sheets just yes. on those trays. Okay, we're going to lightly oil them out. Okay. I can do that for you. Superb, thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to lightly oil them up. We'll get those uh, on the mandolin. Sure thing. All right, so I'll start. So mandolin's fantastic because you can get that really thin chip that we're looking for. Oh, it's a lovely job. So now you've got that under control, yeah. I'm going to start on the pea guacamole, OK? Fabulous. OK, so what we've got here is we've just got um, one bag of frozen peas, OK? It doesn't even matter how big that bag is. You just chuck it in there. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do... We're going to put one whole lime in there. Again, the lime will help keep it all nice and fresh, which is what we like. I'm going to put half a chilli in there as well, OK? So, do you like spice? I do! Oh, I, I say I do, but when it's too I, hot, you'll hear me. That means, <laughs> that means get rid of the seeds oh, then, all right? A little bit, yeah. No yeah, that'll be perfect. So, just oiling the top of these. You're doing a grand old job there. Thank you. OK, so I'm going to put my chilli in there as well, mm -hmm. OK? What I'm going to do, we're putting it all into a food processor, so I'm just going to put the whole garlic clove in there. That'll be fine. Yeah, yum. Um, what we're going to do as well is grab a little bit of mint. Pea and mint, we all know, goes absolutely hand in hand, right? It's absolutely, absolutely delicious. So what we'll do is we'll put a few sprigs of mint in there. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I've put, a, I've put a very attractive glove on here, Rosie, to make sure that I don't stain my hands when you're doing this. Yes, beetroot, you've got to be careful. So no white shirts when we're doing um, the old beetroot recipes, OK? But how brilliant is that? Isn't that just oh, no, gorgeous? It's just gorgeous, yeah. Yep. Really okay, nice. I'll do a few more of those. OK, so what we're going to do now is I've got my mint in there. I'm also going to put a little bit of coriander in there, OK, as well. Coriander isn't your thing, which I know for some people it isn't. Just leave it out. It's as simple yep. as that, OK? We don't have to make it difficult. Plop that coriander just in there. I'm going to put a tiny bit of cumin. I love cumin. I just think I, you can just... As soon as there's cumin in a recipe, you just can smell it and it's absolutely delicious. And it can just change a recipe. A couple of pinches. Mm -hmm. Um, the other seasoning that we're going to have is we're going to have some salt and pepper, so... Sure. Would you mind? Love off. <laughs> and some salt and pepper. Superb. Thank you so there much. You so, generous little bit of salt there. And some pepper. OK, so we're almost there. So, last thing is just obviously it all needs to come together, so the best thing we can do is mm -hmm. some really nice quality olive oil. Olive oil is good for you. It's fantastic for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Do not be scared of it. I mean, everything in moderation, like everything in nutrition, OK? Yeah. Um, we're as much on this earth to have fun as we are to be healthy, OK? So, I do understand that. Let's blitz this dip. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Our delicious dip is done. Yes. Look at the colour of this. It's just incredible. So what I'm going to do... So vibrant. ..is just start scooping sure. that. And have a look at these chippies. I did keep an eye on them for you. Good. And they're crunchy. Listen to this. <gasps> crunchy sweet potato chippies. They're wonderful. It's these colours that I love, Rosie, that you've put together. We've got those sweet potato chippies with our beetroot. We'll mix them up. Oh, that just looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got a rainbow going on there. Oh, I know. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to finish it, the uh, guacas off with a little bit of paprika. Yeah. Just nicely finishes it there. Got a little bit of um, coriander and mint here. Oh, um, my friends would be happy with that. With yours? <laughs> I think my friends will be really happy with that. That's just gorgeous. The Gen Y, which is what I am, which is what you are. We love dip like this because it's really healthy and it's super delicious. Look at that. Rosie, 
That's a great dip, great chippies. Delicious. All right. <laughs>